Alright, remember how I said that Tomy wasn't really making any new toys uh, for Sonic Boom? Well, it seems they made at least a couple that aren't plushies. Uh, these are Knuckles and Sonic articulated vinyl figures. Um, these are pretty cool. The sculpting on them is really nice. The, the licensing, the likenesses are pretty good. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Um, the thing is, like, um, these kind of take me back to the old Toy Island days, like, for the Sonic X figures. Because they only have five basic points of civil articulation. Shoulders, hips, neck. And they come in a pre-assumed stance, so even though they have articulation, you're not going to be able to get too many more poses, especially in the legs. Uh, they come with boards. Sonic has the hoverboard. Knuckles has those hover skates. They look pretty cool. Um, but there are no wheels. You would just stand them on those things. And, um, I would buy them, but uh, they're kind of big. They don't really do anything. I mean, I guess these are good for kids. I mean, the, since they're vinyl, they're soft enough that you don't accidentally shatter them when you drop them. And, uh, you know, they, but that's just it. Like, uh, unless, unless you're actually setting up just a shelf display, there's really no appeal to these because you can't, because like, a lack of posability can really be a problem with a collector like me. Although I guess maybe there are some people that just love vinyl figures and these, I gotta say, like I said, they look pretty good. I mean, they're not my cup of tea, but I'm not going to say they're bad toys because they really aren't, really. Um, if anybody wants to see a more in-depth review, let me know. I might actually pick them up if I have some kind of incentive to actually get them. But uh, aside from that, that's about all I have to say about them for now. And you know what? Since I can't really think of another time that I would ever talk about these things, uh, let's take a look at these, uh, these things. Uh, what do they call them? I have no idea what they're called. Uh, they're just the new, the newest plushies from Tomy. Basically, they're super deformed figures that have a tiny little body and then a big giant head. Uh, okay. I mean... It's not like they feel half stuffed. This is a this is a well stuffed figure, so the head retains a good shape. And um, but you know what? Just what's up with this style? It's like like the body like you can see like there's like a fluffy soft feeling to the head, but then the body is just like printed. So it really feels like this they sutured two different kinds of plush dolls together. Look, gotta admit, I mean. Certain certain things aside, I mean, they're well stuffed, like I said. Nothing too terribly wrong with them. It's just a weird style and aesthetic. But, you know, weird doesn't equal bad. And hey, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, at least they got a variety. It would have been cute to see Amy and Styx in this style. And, uh, you know what? Cubot and Orbot actually probably would have shined pretty well in this style. Like, you have a big square and round head with a tiny little body dangling underneath. I could have I could have gone for that. I would have liked that. I actually would have bought that. I haven't bought a Sonic plushie in years, but that would have gotten me to do it. Yeah, so messy. <laughs> and yes, you can still get Eggman with the Eggmobile if you really wanted to. Or, you know, you could get the three pack that has Eggman, Sonic, and Knuckles, but you know, what's the point of getting Eggman without the without the Eggmobile? And still, you can still get Burnbot. So it's good to know that all the characters are still available, even the first wave ones. Although, I haven't really seen anything to convince me of a proper second wave, aside from this repackaging of three figures, and of course, the Eggman single pack, which, really? <laughs> Alright, so that's about all I could say about Sonic Boom right now, until the next vlog.